Hey guys, we got some really exciting news today. The Dominus came out, and I have been waiting forever for this dragon. <clears throat> it's by far probably going to be my favorite dragon until the Bristleback comes out, which is, uh, I think, uh, Ignis team's um, dragon. But right now we have the Dominus. I'm super hyped for this. I was really excited to see it. I got really excited when I saw it come out, so this is going to be really cool. Um, so I figured I'd do a quick review on it and, you know, show y'all it, what it's about. It's got extremely good damage. I'm kind of glad the defense isn't cracked out as well, because that would be pretty broken. I think about 65% or 60% is balanced for this animal, considering it's the way it was presented is like a flying T-Rex. So there's Kaylee, Arcus, Tenuous, Arcu Arcuitus, veteran with a broken horn. That's cool. I like that. And then Kaylee. I'm probably going to go with this one for now. Um, here's the male. Oh. There's not much difference between the male and female. Okay. What about random skins? Ooh. So the default skin. That, but that orange and uh, blue one look like Tigrex. The, well, the default's not pretty. It's not bad, actually. That's, that's actually pretty good. Um... Let's get into the actual game and see what it's about. Alright, we're in. And this thing is pretty big. It, this thing is massive. That's really cool. It's got a good walk animation too. I like that. Let's hear what it sounds like. I like it. I really like it. The, the sounds are really cool. Um, get our typical bite. Just by how it sounds, it probably sounds like it's gonna hit like a truck. Uh, oh, I didn't even notice the spike tail. That's that's cool. Let's uh, let's look at his abilities real quick. Wow, there's a lot. Okay. We got emerald, which is blue. Okay, cool, interesting. Um, Edge Lord. That's kind of cool. I like the red throat. Eagle. Looks like a bald eagle. Not bad. Can it? Can it? Yep. I like that one. That one's. I might wear that. Ancient. Looks like you have like cuts along your wings and your head. That's pretty neat. Owl World. That that one has potential. Deconstruction. There's coloration under the wings. Wasp. I'd wear it. Piebald. That's really cool. There's camouflage capability with that one. Golden Jade. Mm. Mountain. I like the green streak. Collared. It's not horrible. Moth. That's vibrant. Wow. Leviathan. That's really cool. I like Leviathan. I like the spots along the neck and the color on the tip of the horns. Auroboros. That's pretty cool. Aurora. I love the horns and the wings. Classic. So probably like the typical color retro classic type of dragon. Cassiopeia. 
Jasper. That's pretty cool. And then you force Melanistic, which I'm probably going to rock. And they'll buy now. Not bad. So I let some time pass, and I shed into a skin I wanted to shed into. And I tried to get as close as I can to, uh, to Fatalis, which is a Monster Hunter Elder Dragon. Because he just kind of reminds me of him. How he looks. But, um... Let's see how the flying looks in Dive Bomb, and then after that we'll check out the skills. Okay. You know, it's not as slow as I thought it'd be, but it's also not as fast as I thought it would be. It's got a nice little pace to it, which I guess that makes sense because this is supposed to be like the apex, like the apex flyer of the game compared to the Draco Viper and whatever other dragon mods we get in the future like the Bristleback so it's probably going to be able to hunt anything it can get its hands on on the ground but it won't be able to chase it down in the air also doesn't seem to have too much stamina so that's interesting the hover isn't bad either alright well there's the flying uh, go check out the skills. So after that grueling flight across the sea to get to the mainland, um, come to find out that this is not the best flyer. I haven't looked at the abilities yet, so hopefully there's something that can help that. But stamina is not your friend with this animal. Um, there we go. We got two head slots, two front limbs, and a, two tails. Let's look at this. We got athletic, 10 plus flight damage. Plus three attack damage and negative five incoming damage. I'm probably gonna do flight stamina. Oh yeah, that's right. Duh. <gasps> oh well. Excuse me. And then for our senses, we have ambush. Your first attack when not in combat deals increased damage. So I feel like we are going to probably have to hunt with or uh, have to ambush hunt with this thing. There's overdrive, increased damage by 10%, but also increased cooldowns by 10%. Those are both pretty good. Uh, I'll probably run overdrive. And then we have the head, fortress breaker, a charge bite that deals high amounts of damage. So kind of like the PT Rex's crushing bite, the more you charge it up, the more damage it inflicts instead of bone break. Ruiner, a bite that does medium damage and increases the opponent's incoming damage by 12% for 10 seconds. I don't exactly understand what the strategy is behind that, unless there's a, another ability in the kit that counteracts that, where if, if you take more damage, you, buff, you deal more damage, I don't know. Triple tear, a bite that causes medium damage on each hit. That one I might use. Um, metabolisms, gluttonous, can eat meat, fish, fruit, and insects, fast food, and water drain. Uh, picky, only able to eat fresh meat, and then... Triterating teeth, eat bones, shellfish, and nuts faster, hunger drain, but moderate thirst drain. Now we have hides, a pneumatic bones, gain 20% increased flying stamina immunity to knock back while flying, and 10% reduced bone break healing. Resilient scales, increases bleed and venom healing by 30%. Shielded wings, take 15% damage, reduced damage from hits to your wings. That might be good, because, I mean, that is kind of most of your hitbox, is your wings if you're on the ground, so that's not bad, honestly. Then we have back limbs, we have all-terrain dragon, that gain 10% trot speed, 10% swim speed, and 10% increased flight control, that might be better. Long distance runner, reduces stamina, drain by 15%, reduces fall damage by 40%, skydiver. And then we have tail attack which is your regular tail, medium damage, shock spines, plus 50 bleed damage, hamstring sever, an attack that causes medium damage and drains a small amount of stamina from the opponent. <sighs> I just sneeze, sorry. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> counterbalance, uh, gain 5% increased turning while grounded. The kit's not bad, it's not horrible. Um, I'll probably run to a home cave real quick, and I'll put some on, and I'll show a few to you. I'll be right back. Oh, Genie's here forgot a slot, or a category, I'm sorry. 
So we have four front limb abilities. We have Cherry Chaser, which is 50% increased acceleration. Earth Shaker, a high damaging attack with the front feet. It locks you in place when you use, so it's probably a stomp. Fly Swatter, a quick wind beat that causes a small amount of damage and high knockback. And then you have Grippling Claws, um, gain 5% increased turning. So there you go. Alright, we're back. I just got out of the home cave and I put a few of the abilities on. Um, and we have obviously our regular bite. Nothing special, really. The triple bite, which might be, that's honestly pretty good. And this one is, I think, wing beat. Yep. And then we have the slam. That probably hurts. And then I have the tail attack that drains stamina. And that is just a few of the abilities. And uh, yeah, overall, I really like this thing. I think it's pretty cool. Probably going to be a unit. Uh, no flyer is going to be able to keep up with this. It probably it, Most of its fights and hunt will probably, will probably be on the ground with dinosaurs, hunting them and fighting them. Um, and yeah, I like it. I think it has a lot of potential. I think it's going to be a lot of fun playing it. And if you guys like it and like this video, let me know down in the comments. And like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. Always remember, Christ is King.